There's no better way to understand the true spirit of Illinois than to understand how the skyline of the city of Chicago was born. How it managed to rise from the ashes and touch the sky after one of the most devastating tragedies ever to befall a U.S. city. A tragedy known as the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. It started on October 8th in the southwest of Chicago in a barn at what is now 137 Decoven Street. High winds from the southwest fanned the flames and pushed the fire through the city towards Lake Michigan. By the time rain showers finally put the fire out, almost two days later, over four square miles of the city had been burned to the ground. More than 17,000 buildings were destroyed. 90,000 residents were homeless, and close to 300 were dead. The Great Chicago Fire had started at 9 p.m., which is one reason the tragedy has been called the Night America Burned. Some say that even before the brick stopped smoking, the people of Chicago vowed to come back, even bigger than before. And that's just what they did. Chicago's Great Fire was the spark that led to brilliant innovations in the skyscraper and the creation of one of the most dazzling skylines in the world. What first kicked off Chicago's vertical boom was land prices. Almost immediately after the Great Chicago Fire, the cost of land in the city skyrocketed as builders vied for space. Those who did have land wanted to build the tallest structures they could. It just so happened that new building materials were about to make that possible. The one that had the biggest impact was structural steel. It allowed engineers to design taller than ever before by using a skeleton of steel instead of thick walls of stone. It also enabled architects to revolutionize the way buildings looked. The interior steel skeleton made it possible to use large plate glass windows on the outside, which quickly became the norm. When German architect Ludwig Mies van der Rohe arrived in Chicago just before World War II to teach here at the Illinois Institute of Technology, he pushed the use of glass and steel in skyscrapers even further. His students went on to design some of Chicago's most important structures, including Lake Point Tower, with its signature curving facade. 